Hi guys, this is Heather. Welcome back. I am going to work on a simple design. I'm trying to make some inventory to take to a local rock shop in Baldwin. And I'll show you just a few. These are just simple ones. You can make them in, oh, half hour, 45 minutes, depending on if I spend a lot of time weaving. So these are going to be um, less expensive. I love that. Isn't that a gorgeous stone? And then I've got a few here that I've made for my Facebook page. This one was um, a tutorial by Lily Tree. This one has a little bit of movement to it so that it'll swing when you're wearing it. Did this one in blue wire. I'm not a big fan of enameled wire. However, I've got a ton of it. This one is a, a shell that was cut into a donut. I've got a ton of these. So I thought, well, I'll just make one up, see what it looks like. It doesn't look too bad. And then here's another one. These Most of these cabs all have holes drilled in the top of them. But this one has got a purple iridescent. This is a crystal bead. And so I thought, well, I'll try my 18 gauge zebra wire purple. So what I'm going to do is, let's see for a second here. This is about an inch and a quarter. I'm going to give myself, oh, I don't know, 22 inches just as a, safeguard. I'll probably only end up using maybe 18 or 20. So there's 18 plus 4 would be 22. So we'll cut that off. I've got set that aside. This is how my desk looks most of the time. Just a total disaster. But all I need is just a little workspace. So I'm just straightening the wire a little bit just to get out any big bends. And then I've got just a, some assortment of tools. I've got some micro pliers, needle nose pliers, uh, bale making pliers. Uh, these are step bales. And some nylon jaws for straightening out any kinks. My flush cutters. And some bent nose if I need them. You have to be really careful with enameled wire. Because if you don't... I've got that just about um, I'm going to do it right there. And let's see. I'm going to bend this to the right. If that doesn't work it's okay, I can just spin the wire around. And I don't like that. It's too much of a curve. So, I'm going to get my flat nose pliers here. See how that's got just a little bit of a curve there? I don't like that. I want a nice crisp bend. 
and see this right here this is going to be hidden inside the bead so once that's bent or pushed back in nobody will even see it so what I'm doing is I'm just squeezing the wire at the corner and you have to be really careful with enameled wire all right so now I'm going to bend this forward a little bit and let's go with this one I'm going to come up I'm holding it so that it's got just a couple millimeters right there so now I'm going to push this over and I think I want this to join with this so I'm going to bring this to the right wrap that around so that it looks like it's been around twice and now I know I want a nice swoop right here Okay. I need to secure that. Now we have to we have to I have to figure out how to cover up that lump. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's see what happens if I put both. It didn't draw a sketch or anything with this one. Let's see if I can get in there with my needle nose. And I'm going to very carefully pull this so that it's a little less off center. I don't want to mar my wire. And I, to me, <laughs> and this is no opinion on anyone else's work. This is just my personal opinion for my own work. Don't like enameled wire because it looks cheap. However, I made a few for one of my last shows and... Uh, sold them people actually bought them so it's like well okay maybe I need to rethink this okay this is too bare so I'm hoping that this long wire I can get wrapped around but I want to get a swoop going here
and I put a bend in it, so that's not good. Let me do one at a time here. using my the warmth of my finger to bend this wire bring that back up here now I have to decide if I want to make a little loop I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to secure it first. Bring it back around to the front. Pulling, I'm holding it with my thumb so that it doesn't pull in. I don't want it too close to the bead. And then I was pulling with my thumb and finger up on top. And that is still out of alignment. So give it a little smoosh. How's that look? No weaving today. This is just com just wrapping. Just wrapping the wire. I think I want to make a loop right down here. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a bump. Pull it around behind. Now I'm just going to Zhuzh it so that I have a nice oval or circle if I can get it. A little bit big. Sorry, my thumb is in the way, but I'm trying to hold it. Oh, let's see. Give that a pull. Then we'll cross back over again. Make this look kind of viney. And now I'm going to bring it around from behind that wire there. Give it a little pull. Oh, it's getting out of hand. This is all just, um, I don't even know if this is going to work. This is just in my head of what I want to see. I'm trying to get it back down. And it's not going. Get this straightened out a little bit. It's getting a little out of hand here. And let's see if we can't. Ooh, scares me. I don't want to get this far and have to cut it off and start over. If you do this with like say black wire and you have a marker or a paint pen, like those Posca pens, you can actually touch up the ends of your wire or if you mar it. I gotta get that down. There we go. Oh, 
Okay. So now we see if we can get that kink out of there. No, don't like that bump. Where are my flat nose? See if I can just tweak that slightly. Nope, oh, yeah, it's getting there. Bring that around. Okay, this is the longer piece, so now we got to see if we can bring this back. You can do anything with these wires. If you want to add a weave to it, you can. You can just uh, start it right here, do some coiling along this so that it hides the beginning of the wire, coil it to get to here, and then you can start doing a, a corset weave like I showed you here. And then it just wraps around to the back. And then it comes around the front again, comes back up, and it connects back to the net, the where I fed the wires through. But this one I don't want to do any 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 weaving. I just want to have some simple 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 wire that looks pretty good right there I just need to figure out how to how to take care of that and whoops okay let's take care of this wire here Bring it down. Let's see what happens if we do a little. This is 18 gauge, so it's, it's kind of hard to wrestle with there. I'm just sandwiching it between my finger and the bead, and I'm holding on to the wire here and I'm going to cut some off no rhyme or reason I just cut off uh, two inches so that's 20, 20 inches now going to put this the second size of the bill uh, step pliers get that to go through there <coughs> excuse me 
I'm going to use just the end, grab just the end. See how that just marred that? So like I said, you want to be really careful. Give that a tug in. And I'm going to clip it right, oh golly, we'll clip it right here. Give that a smash. And I want to get my micro pliers here. See if I can get that bent down. Gently. I don't want it to, I don't want to feel anything on either side. So I'm just putting my finger and my thumb on each side and pulling. Okay. So this don't know maybe I should feed it through instead of wrapping it around so let's see if I can find a good spot oh that went right through really easy okay so now I got a big old honking mess there this back a little bit I'm just trying to take out that bend that I created earlier oh I pulled too far Now I'm just tweaking that. Ugh. What a mess I made. I should have paid attention and done that pull through before I Made that mess. Okay. I'll tweak that later. We're getting... Ugh. I don't know what's wrong with my hands today. They're really tired. I want something on the other side here. So I'm pulling it through. I'm going to cut off more, but I just want to cut off this. So that's two and a half, so that would be... Just cut yourself a good 18 inches or 20 if you want to have a little extra. It's cheap wire. It's not, I mean, cheap is relative. It all depends on how much money you have and what you can afford. All right. So let me cut this off right about... Here. 
it's better to cut off less than more because you can always take it away but you can't add right now I can feel that so I need to do something with it and I do have some Posca pins so I might be able to fix any spots where the enamel came off because I have a very heavy hand oh my goodness those cutters are too big I can't control them in that tiny spot so I got my smaller ones normally I don't use them on 18 gauge but What do you think? I think I want to pull this over. Us a tedge. Oh, that's kind of cool. Just tweaking now. Probably going to ruin it because I can't leave it alone. Look at that. And then whoever buys it, if they want it, can um, put it on a silver chain. Purple and gold look good um, for you bike queen fans. <laughs> um... I'm going to see if I can squish that in just a titch to hide that. See how that's got an open spot? I don't like that. I want to try to close it up a little bit. There. Oh, look at that iridescent. Can you? Oh my God. And the flash is just gorgeous on that crystal. The, the front is much better. I love that. Can you imagine wearing this um, blue jeans and a white blouse? Woohoo! That would be really pretty. So anyways, this is going to go to the shop in Baldwin. So if you're in Baldwin, Wisconsin, head up the, the rock shop and see what she's got. She's got gorgeous stones in there. Um, I buy most, all my stones from her. Let's see. And this one. And this one. I got all these from her shop. Dragon vein agates. Um, I think these are onyx. I can't remember. This is a piece of chevron amethyst this is an i something i can't remember oh i love the back isn't that gorgeous but anyways i hope you guys give this a try and let me know under 30 minutes so depending on whether you want to use um or if you want 20 dollars an hour You can charge for the, um, there's probably 50 cents of wire here, so uh, $10 for the time. The price of the bead, I think, was a, a buck, so you could sell this for uh, $15 if you wanted. 
and get just a little bit of profit there. So thank you guys. Oh, 30 minutes. Great. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and share with your wire wrapping friends. Leave me a comment what you want to see next. I know that I have to do a cup. Um, I got a request to do a cheetah cup, so I have to do that yet. And I have a super um, project coming up that is a collaboration with Monica Barnes from Monica Barnes Art. So keep an eye out for that. Make sure you hit that little bell so you get all notifications. And yeah, thanks again. And I will see you next time. Bye.